going everybody coming to you today because I want to do a quick review on these knockoff Royal Enfield bags that I got off of eBay now the classic 350 reborn technically does not have an official uh, rack system and bag system yet from Royal Enfield so the fine people in India have figured out a way to make a set that works uh, but it's not official Royal Enfield hence the reason why I called it a knockoff it could be considered aftermarket whatever word you would like to use the bags themselves are okay and that's all I'm gonna say about them uh, I have added this patch this patch doesn't come on them they come just like this uh, you get a shoulder strap that will go from here over to here and you get the racks the racks have a bottom plate that bolts on instead of welded on like the normal uh, infield racks and that's really about it you get your two racks your two bags and one shoulder strap and you get four leather and I use that word very loosely, leather straps to attach it to the back. On those straps, those straps are so, well, here, just let me show you. This is that strap. It is very, very thin. It is not actually leather. It feels more like paper. It can be pulled apart very easily. There's no way in the world you would want to use these straps to secure your bag and its belongings, its contents, your belongings on the motorcycle. The metal is questionable and the strap is ridiculous. I'm supposed to secure luggage with this so that's a joke and not a very funny one the bags are all single stitched i would much rather prefer single or seeing a double stitch uh there is no way that comes from india for you to keep these from flapping about other than just tucking them in like so and you could still have this flapping in the breeze. I took double stick, double sided, whatever you want to call it, uh, hook and loop, and made loops to go around just to keep it from flopping back and forth. Now you can see this side over here, it's pretty full. I have got a pair of Gore-Tex pants and a Gore-Tex top in this and that has pretty much filled it up you are looking at approximately eight inches by 12 inches um, by 13 14 inches so that's roughly the size of the bags that you're getting um, like I said the bags are okay their mounting solution is horrific. Do not use those straps. Uh, I tried to figure out how in the world can I connect these and make them secure. And I figured out a way that worked for me. I don't know if it'll work for you. You'll have to figure out what works best for you. Now, there are racks and bags for the classic 350 the non-reborn and they have straps that come along the side here wrap around the back come back and they velcro and they've got uh d-rings like these so those i believe would be okay to attach on the other style but not the reborn the reborn comes with these cheap leather straps um was not a fan was not a fan of those leather straps at all not really a fan of the single stitching 
I would much rather prefer double stitching. Uh, I understand it saves cost, but they're still asking $200, give or take, for the racks and bags on the aftermarket side. Um, I think that's a little high. I think, really and truthfully, about $100 are what these are worth with the racks, with the bags. Uh, these bags I have had mounted on here, and I have done 500 miles with the bags on. I've had zero problems uh, with me adding the double stick Velcro and with me using my own mounting solution. So I will now pick you up, spin you around, and show you my mounting solution. Okay, so here we are looking at the backhand side of the left bag. And I've got it mounted up the same way on both sides. I had these pieces of bar stock already on hand. If you look right here, you can see where they wanted you to tie that leather through here and down here. And that just was not gonna work. What I did is I went to Walmart and I purchased two of the smaller size cutting boards. I then inserted the cutting boards, measured where my holes needed to be, drilled through the bag, through the cutting boards, ran bolts from the inside out, and tightened them down with lock washers. I did that here and here. And here, 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 here. And that has made it to where these things do not move. They are extremely secure now. The entire back of the bag would have to rip off before those bags would come out. Because all along here in the complete inside from about right there, almost all the way at the top, from about right there, all the way down, all the way across. On the inside is a cutting board, one of those plastic, what are they, UMPW cutting boards, about an eighth inch thick. And that gives it a lot of rigidity, a lot of strength. And I think is really about the only way that you could mount these to the motorcycle where they're not going anywhere. So that was my mounting solution for the bags. The bags look great on the bike. I mean, the colors are slightly off with the sand, the desert sand signal and the bags, but they're very close. And the brown matches the seat very well. So I'm okay with the colors not being exactly right. I even, you know, threw a bit of color on there myself by throwing my old unit patch on there. On the inside of the bags, there is a roll top type closure that, once again, mediocre at best. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you. It's, it's not the best. I mean, it, it would keep some small stuff from flying out, but it's just, I don't know. It's not the best. And like I said, at the price of $200 for the racks and for the bags, I really think that's a little steep. I think probably closer to 100 uh, with the build quality. Now, if they had a better attachment method than that leather belt or whatever you want to call it that I pulled apart. If the bags were double stitched, I think that these things would be worth the $200 price tag. And you can see, here's the top. These are not waterproof, by the way. Even before I drilled the holes all the way through, they're water resistant. If you're gonna put anything in that actually needs to be waterproof, you're gonna to need to use your own stuff sack. But you would just take this 
Roll it. Clamp it and stuff it down inside. You can then take your top, bring it over through your D rings. Roll up your slack if you are like me and would prefer it not to flop around. And you are ready to go. I have used these, like I said, for 500 miles. I did a 300 mile round trip to Tulsa, Oklahoma and back with these on. When I got there, this side is mostly empty. Uh, I took off in the morning on that trip and it was kind of chilly so I had on a denim jacket. Took the denim jacket off, put it in here once it warmed up. And when I got to Tulsa and I stopped for the day or for a little while, I took my helmet, my goggles, my gloves off and they all fit in here with that jacket. So if you use like one of the, uh, just the hard shell regular helmets, not a full face helmet, uh, it will fit in here. A full face helmet will not even come close. So if you're using just a brain bucket and some goggles and a light jacket, they'll fit in one side, rain gear in the other. Uh, I do plan on adding a small toolkit to this, not much, just something, you know, small little socket set. And I still think I'll fit the jacket and the uh, helmet in there with no problem. So that's a review of the saddlebags that you get if you buy the aftermarket. I ordered mine from a store on eBay called Royal Spare Parts. Uh, you can find these from dozens of sellers on there, but that's who I got mine from. Uh, shipping, that is the amazing part. From India, New Delhi, to my doorstep delivered, four days. New Delhi, India, to Arkansas delivered, four business days total. From the time I hit paid until the time it was at my door. Super impressed with the shipping. I've ordered stuff from freaking Houston, Texas that has taken longer to get to me than this did from India. So kudos to you guys on your shipping. You got it here super fast. They need a little bit of work. If you're willing to put in a little bit of work, if you're willing to fabricate a mounting method, I think that these are okay. I do believe that they are overpriced for what you get. Uh, Unfortunately, at the current price, I would say probably pass unless you just absolutely wanted some bags. Uh, they, do, they do look really good on the bike. So if you're worried about looks or if you absolutely have to have the bags, go ahead and get them. Otherwise, I would say wait due to the price. Um, I just think that they're too expensive at $200. Um, I've bought tusk panniers and tusk uh, mounting systems for other motorcycles and they're in that same neighborhood of 200 bucks and are of a way better quality than this was for 200. A hundred dollars the way they are. 200 if they start double stitching and if they figure out a different mounting method, I would go 200 then, but until then, at 200, I would pass unless you just absolutely have to have them. Like I said, they do look good. I do like the looks of them. Uh, they did work for me so far for 500 miles. Your mileage may vary. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy, and uh, we'll see you later.